Turkeys have long been the scapegoats for our post-Thanksgiving feasting naps, but no more! No more. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News. I got Kristen Cogger here with me from Stuff Mom Never Told You. Hello. Hello, Anthony. You are here on a very important mission. Yes, I am. I am here to pardon the humble turkey from its alleged narcotic properties, Anthony. Really? Yes, because for too long, we have been not only allowing the turkey to fill us up on Thanksgiving, but also expecting it to put us to sleep. So what are we talking about? We're talking about tryptophan. No, I thought, I thought we were talking about turkeys. Yes, we are talking about turkey, Kristen, because tryptophan is an amino acid, AKA a protein building block that is found in turkey and its chemical properties are thought to make us drowsy after Thanksgiving. Our bodies use tryptophan to produce the hormone serotonin, which produces slow wave sleep, hence this turkey napping connection. But there is a wrinkle in this turkey tryptophan Thanksgiving nap domino effect because tryptophan is relatively scarce compared to the amount of other other proteins circulating in the bloodstream, and that kind of competition means it has a tough time crossing the blood-brain barrier to trigger serotonin production. Exactly. And neuropharmacologist Richard Wortman from MIT told Scientific American that really, the Thanksgiving meal nap is probably more attributed to, wait for it, mm -hmm. Dessert! Ah, sweet, sweet pumpkin pie triggers insulin production. And that is a hormone which then facilitates amino acid absorption into our tissues. But insulin has little effect on tryptophan, which heightens its chances of crossing that blood-brain barrier, triggering serotonin production, and voila, Thanksgiving tiredness. Exactly, and that really is a pretty elegant turkey pumpkin pie interaction it's in our bodies. Perfect storm of sleepiness. It's beautiful. Mm. And on top of that, though, there are other food and sleep reactions at work when we leave the Thanksgiving table. For instance, and this is kind of a gross for instance, all right. but our small intestines enlarge thanks to all that food, and studies have shown that that is related to sleeping. So our intestine stretches out and we want to take a nap. Probably because our bodies are like, you need to slow down. Yeah, you're right, that was gross. Yeah, it was. You were right. <laughs> Studies have also shown protein fat loading induces drowsiness and not to mention how all of the blood directed to our gastrointestinal systems to digest that mound of Thanksgiving turkey diverts blood flow from the brain, yes. which once again is linked to sleep. Your brain needs blood. Yeah. Yeah, it, do, it, it does actually need needs blood. blood. That's oh. science. Yes. But don't forget the Thanksgiving booze because a lot of times mm -hmm. we have wine, we have beer, we have champagne. We have nog bombs. Okay, we have some people, some people have nog bombs. Traditional yes. festive nog bombs. Yeah, and with all that booze though being poured on top of our expanding small intestine, yeah, we're just, we, we, need, a, we need a nap. Really, turkey plays a very minimal role in all that when it comes to Thanksgiving naps. Yeah, this is true. Uh, but what I want to know now, Anthony, mm -hmm. is whether or not our napping behavior would change if we were instead dining on the traditional Thanksgiving eel. Traditional Thanksgiving. Are you a character in the Hunger Games? Who eats eel? The what Pilgrims! Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, but the Plymouth settlers actually ate a lot of eel because mm -hmm. it was a really important source of fat and protein during the hard winter. And in November, there was like a massive eel harvest. And so there was probably eel at the first Thanksgiving table. Yeah, I can't even imagine like waking up the next day and eating leftover eel sandwiches. Yeah, that's true. And uh, a side of pie with eel that doesn't that's like an extra $2 at Denny's. <laughs> if they put eel on top of your pie. Mm. Uh, Kristen, you are normally doing stuff called uh, uh, over on your channel called uh, Stuff Mom Never Told You. That's right, what I What is that am. about? Well, it's all about things like, well, not about eel, mm -hmm. but sometimes about pie and <laughs> all sorts of things. So you should head over to youtube.com slash Stuff Mom Never Told You. Basically a pie-related channel is yes. what I picked up from that. So cool, and you can subscribe here for more D News.